you were invited to someone's home for the first time. What shocked or surprised you about their lifestyle? My friend was like, want a Kit Kat? I said sure. He proceeded to unwrap the candy bar, set it on a plate, and then put it in the microwave until the chocolate had melted off the wafers. I was freaked out and said I don't need mine microwaved. He looked shocked and said, you eat them raw? That's the funniest s I've seen all day. Thanks. As a young boy back in the 70s I visited a friend from school's house. It smelled different from any house I had ever been in, which was mostly my parents' friends' homes and my relatives' homes. I visited several times before I figured out why it smelled different. No one in the home smoked cigarettes. Was invited to a friend's house in high school and that's when I learned that his parents weren't just well off like mine were, they were effing loaded. His house was not a house, it was a compound. They had the main house, a pool house, where he lived, a casita, where his older sister lived, and a clubhouse. They had an eight-car garage and a yacht garage, with their damn yacht in it at the time. Oh, and as if that wasn't enough they had waterway that ran in front of their house which meant they had a bridge over which was an honest to f draw bridge. The draw bridge has me speechless. Yeah. Driving up to the property was a trip because the houses kept getting bigger and more spread apart. Like I said, my parents do pretty well for themselves, so I'm used to a certain amount of luxury, but dude was 17 and had what amounted to a 1BD, 1 ba 900 SQFT house all to himself. That's not like 1% rich or anything, not like, I built a full-size house just for my dogs to live in, rich, but my parents' 4,500 SQFT house was the biggest one I'd been in at that point and his parents' main house was that big on the first floor alone. Driving up to my wife's house for the first time, she warned me she kinda grew up with lots of money but it's no big deal. We stopped at the five-bedroom, six-bath pool house, roughly twice the size of the house I grew up in with our comfortable middle-class upbringing to drop our bags off before making our way to the main compound. She also didn't tell me her dad commuted by private helicopter. What is extremely rare but people think it's very common? Burglary in the middle of the night. Burglary happens most often during the day, when nobody is home. No burglar wants to break in and try to sneak around your place while you're sleeping. His biggest concern is to evade detection. It makes more sense to work in the daytime. In all likelihood, that noise you heard outside was a car or raccoon or your imagination. Go to sleep. That's exactly what a burglar would say. Don't trust this person. I've had someone break into my third floor apartment while my roommates and I slept. I do think it's out of the norm, but it does represent 100% of the times I've been burgled. You almost never see two guys walking across the street carrying a big pane of glass. I was on a college visit once and I saw two guys walking holding a big pane of glass. I took a good look because I know it will never happen again. I once slipped on a banana peel. I took a moment to really absorb it because I couldn't believe it had actually just happened. I had an old roommate try to explain that you couldn't really slip on a banana peel, it would just mush. So he proceeded to demonstrate by stepping on a banana peel and his leg went flying out from under him causing him to fall in the most hilarious way possible. Successfully saving someone trapped by a fire via re-entering a burning building. The mortality rate for this is really high and fire departments have petitioned to stop showing this in movies because it usually results in another life being lost. Had a kitchen fire when I was a teenager and after some moderate panicking trying to put it out with the sink, my mom and sister went outside and called the fire department, and I was like, oh yeah, there's an outside, and went and got the hose and put the fire out. The firefighters showed up and were like, you put out the fire? Nice job dude, but never go back inside. Ever. But nice job putting that fire out. Not even once, you understand me? It was a little weird. I didn't really know how to feel about it at the time, because it makes sense. Safety being more important than damaged property, but in this particular instance I never felt like I was in danger. But, presumably, other people who went back into burning buildings also felt like they weren't gonna die, but they did. Even when the fire hasn't grown too big and isn't dangerous to you, it can produce a lot of smoke, and that's the S that will get you in a confined space. Also if you spend significant time in the building, or have to go in far from an exit, the fire can spread to block the path you came in by. 
dropping out of college and becoming a millionaire or billionaire. Most of those people drop out of Harvard, MIT, Oxford and Cambridge et al. They don't drop out of community college. And they don't drop out because they couldn't hack it, they drop out because it's a waste of time for them. I'm pretty sure the college dropout line is pushed to give an illusion of humble origins which makes the founder more likable. People wouldn't romanticize tech billionaires as much if they knew that virtually all of them were rich kids who could afford to take time away from their Ivy League educations to work on their side projects. What is a minor confession you would like to make today? I normally buy the top ramen that comes in a six-pack for like one dollar. I decided to splurge and try more expensive ramen, so I bought Nissan Rayo, King of Ramen, ramen for two dollars for a single serving. I like the top ramen better. I've been browsing Reddit for three hours while I'm supposed to be working. Same, but I am supposed to be sleeping. I only graduated high school BC, I cheated on the state test that factored into a final grade for a class that if I didn't pass I would have had to repeat 12th grade. Ironically I'm debt free and am pretty successful in my career. I feel like I'm pretty far better off than most of my graduating class. Most are on math. Well done man. I'm a high school dropout myself. At 32, three years ago. I was able to buy my house in cash and have three cars in my name. Always happy to see people making it despite the education system being a joke. What's not nearly as attractive as people think? Those horrendous jacked up lips everyone is getting. Y'all look like you've had an allergic reaction. TikTok boys biting their lip and rubbing their hands. One woman who stitched one boy like that said it right, you look like a housefly. Stop it. I have a buddy who is constantly showing off his cars, watches, and shoes. He's single and I'm convinced he's doing all that to find a girl. It's not as impressive or attractive as he thinks it is. It's really attractive to other dudes that are into the same garbage. That's about it. Yeah, most of his followers are 18-year-old guys. People hear, confidence is attractive, and think it's attractive to be a huge obnoxious D who thinks they're better than everyone and doesn't care about how they treat others. Confidence in yourself, like knowing who you are, what you like and being okay with it is attractive. A lot of people think confidence has to be aggressive, about being in your face and calling the shots. Which is such a misunderstanding. The most truly confident people you meet are always super polite soft-spoken and really chill. But on the other hand the aggressive show-offs ooze insecurity, 